Hey all, welcome to my video. Today together we will model this part. It's a simple container, but uh, nice to model. It teaches you fundamental uh, commands of SOLIDWORKS and gives you an idea how it works. So, new part. On top plane, we create a sketch. Then we pick here a rectangle. I place it on my screen. Control press and two edge is selected. We made it equal. We pick from here smart dimensions, which is 60. So we create a square. I will keep it here simple and go to next step. We close sketch, extrude both space, height is 30. Simple. Only one thing. We write 30 and close it. Then I pick a fillet, 12 and a half will be my fillet uh, value. I select four corners. It is good. Then I select shell. Here I write three and select top surface. And this object is created. Now what we're gonna do, select reference geometry plane, select top uh, surface, here click the flip and write 5. Okay, this is good. Now this plane is selected, sketch there is created and then I click my space and look the model from top. I select surface, offset entities, reverse and write here a value of 1.5. Once this is done, oh, we have a problem with our uh, radius. We need to correct it. The radius are curv curvature. It's on. It's not on a full arc. So I think I was doing something, and it stayed like that. Yeah. We go to fill it again. And under, we make a circular, symmetric circular. Now, fillets are an arc and you see here as a radius so uh, again plane one sketch select everything make offset one and a half so then I will delete three objects here I will pull this line and bring to this point then I can put here a line control pressed this edge selected, collinear. Okay, everything is black. That means fully defined sketch. We can go ahead. I close my sketch, extrude cut. The dimension is one here, the cutting dimension. And I will make here mid plane. Okay, we work in the mid plane and we close it. It is cut it. And on the plane, we're gonna create. One more time sketch. I look normal again. Auto surface selected. Offset entities. Again one and a half. So I don't create any gap in between two objects. If you really going to print this or produce, you need to give some gap in between. Otherwise it will not work. For this step. So I pick a line and I add here two sets of lines. Control is pressed. I make this object symmetric. I say here 5. This is 12. Okay, this is 10. And after this, trim entities. Select these two guys. It's trimmed. Radius 1. Select everything. Radius will be added. Operation is done. We close the sketch. Extrude both space. Mid plane 0.5 thickness. Okay. It looks good. So chamfer, select chamfer here and at the bottom 0.5 and then fill it. We're gonna add here 0.25 again. Select. 
four edges. In fact, you can select the top surface. Here, it's two. So on the chamfer, we add a nice round. It is then looking nicer. Uh, so this is good. What is missing? We're gonna add material, appearances, organic wood. I will just add this one for now, and I will select glass, clear glass to this body. And I have a mistake now. I have one solid, but I draw two part. Where is, where is it? Edit feature, merge result. So it is good. I made two mistake. And uh, also we could recover them. I here remove material, so it returns the original state. This one is glass. This one organic wood. Okay, this guy body. If you select part, everything will be converted to last material that you added. So if you change this play state, it is looking better. Maybe you're gonna think that how you open that uh, gap. Move copy bodies, translate. Okay, in this direction, translate. What is the body? Is this guy? How much? 15. Minus 15 will do the work. Yeah, this is it, guys. It's a simple model. I could, you could, uh, I hope you could step, uh, follow the steps. And, uh, it was good that I made some mistakes and you also see that how we change them and uh, get the desired result look like that. Okay, thanks. Bye bye.